Losing weight, what does that have to do with being a white woman? Why would you bring up being a white woman in the correlation of privilege when it comes to losing weight? Do black women have an inability to lose weight? Do Asian men have an inability to lose weight? Do, why would you bring that up? What is, why? What does that have to do with anything? Being body positive means that you hold the fundamental belief that fat people deserve respect because they are human beings. You see fat people as human beings. Being body positive means you hold the fundamental idea that fat people deserve equitable access to health care that's fairly priced and not gouged based upon their weight, including insurance. I, I just, I see what you're saying, but it's just, you're asking for something that's ridiculous. Like, it, that'd be like saying, I think when I buy this motorcycle, my insurance should be like dirt cheap. Like it should be so incredibly cheap, even though this particular motorcycle or this particular car that I bought has a very increased risk of having accidents, right? Why do you expect your, that car or that motorcycle or whatever you're insuring to be priced the same as all these other really safer vehicles compared to whatever you're running? You understand? It doesn't make any sense to do that in the same way that if you're very obese, okay? and you are prone to more conditions, like you're gonna be going to the hospital at a frequent weight rate compared to a thin person, why would you expect your insurance money, your insurance to be less money or equal compared to a thin person? I don't know, that seems very interesting to me. I mean, you can always get like a subsidized insurance. I mean, always depending on where you live, but you do understand that the very act of being obese is literally going to impede your health. Like it's just what it is. So. When you say this, you're literally, you're, what you're basically telling me is that you want everybody else to pay for the trauma that you're going to put yourself under because you feel like you deserve it. I mean, you're fine in saying that everybody's really entitled nowadays. Everybody feels like they should have this and you should have that. And don't get me wrong. I think we should subsidize things. I don't mind paying extra tax money for, I don't know, an extra Chromebook at the school um, down the street or something like that. Or, you know, kids having access to, you know, uh food and uh, stuff like that at schools. I think that stuff's all super amazing. When I hear people talk about this shit, I always think, why would, man, there are much, there are, there are way better things that I feel like my money should be going towards than a fat person that has to go in and out of the doctor on an increased basis because they refuse to lose weight. Because yes, that does exist. Being body positive. I don't know why you think that's like, a, do you think that's a wrong thing? Do you think that people that go to the doctor more frequently shouldn't be charged more money for that thing? Like, do you understand that there's, okay, whatever, bro, whatever, man. Including insurance, <laughs> because yes, that does exist. Yep. Being body positive means that you believe that fat people deserve civil rights and that they sure. do not deserve to be fired at will simply for being fat. I, d I just like, when you say civil rights, dude, and then you incorporate being fired at will, if you're obese and you get hired for a job and you physically are incapable of doing that job, why do you expect that employer to continue to hire you? Well, like you're non-employable at that point. Like it doesn't make any sense. Like if I hired somebody to suck dick, like if I was like, listen, dude, I need you to be a guy. I need you to sit there and I need you to literally just be the throat goat. I need you to just like, somebody's going to grab the top of your head and they're just going to mouthwash your shit consistently. Like you're going to be a penis massager, a meat massager, if you will. And then he's like, yeah, no problem. But he's missing a jaw. Well, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Um, you can no longer fulfill the requirements that I need in order for you to be a meat massager, right? You don't have the facilities for that, big man. So when it comes to people like this and they say, well, I think that we should still be fairly hired. You do understand that like by being physically the size that you are, you are literally impeding the amount of work that you can do. You do understand that. And sure, you can say, oh, you know, we work in America. A lot of our jobs are really corporate. A lot of our jobs are sedentary positions where we sit down all day and that's, that's awesome. That's fine. I agree with you. A lot of our positions are. But even in these particular positions where you're sitting down for an extended period of time, even in these positions, you know how many fat people, sure, this is anecdotal, you know how many fat people I hear go, I'm always tired, I just don't want to work as much, my knees constantly hurt, I'm always going through pain, and in the positions where you may have to stand up for a prolonged period of time, you do understand that that is probably something you're not going to be able to do, given that you're obese, you're bleg, you have a ginormity on your body, and obviously that is going to impede your ability to do that job. So, if that employer sees that you cannot act upon the position in which that person had hired you for, why the fuck do you think you're going to still be hired in that position. That doesn't even make any sense. Like that literally doesn't make sense. If I hire you for a position, you can't do that position. 
why do you think that you should still be employed at that position? And that they do not deserve to be fired at will. Like, there's a big difference between somebody going like, oh man, like, I can I just imagine a guy like reading a resume. Like, oh, what? This guy's gonna triple our income in three months? And he, uh, and he's only asking for 100K a year? Oh my, this guy's a money printing machine. This guy's a, oh, he's a black man. Like, it, that's obviously crazy. Like, if you're dismissing a person because they're black or they're gay, their sexual preferences and things such and so forth. See, the thing is, if you're black, you're not going to not work, right? It's not like if you're black, you have a physical disability to work or something like that. And if you're gay, it's not like you're going to be sucking dudes off in the fucking bathroom stalls, right? Like, you're going to install a glory hole or something like that, and you're going to be stroking men off in the fucking bathroom. No, that doesn't tend to happen. So... In these scenarios, those people are not going to be physically, uh, they're not going to be the people that don't work, if that makes any sense. But when you're fat, it, it, yeah, there's going to be some defects there, dude. You, you're physically not in shape. That's not, the, that's not the same as being black, you know what I'm saying? And having a condition where you need to moisturize yourself consistently, I don't know, whatever. Simply for being fat. Yes, that is a law in over 40 states. Which makes sense to me. Sometimes these people see these laws and they'll go, this is a systemic, this is a systemic issue. And you're right, this is a systemic issue. But the way you're looking at systemic issue in the word issue placed in there is dumb, is dumb. It doesn't make sense to hire. That'd be like somebody going, you know what? I know we have this NASCAR race coming up. I just think it would be really cool if, if for this NASCAR race, we just put in a Prius. Like, I know that, well, how fast can Priuses go? Like 70 miles? How fast can a NASCAR? Oh, two, 250? Yeah, put it in a Prius. Put it in a Prius because guess what? Equality, equity, put it in there. It doesn't make sense. Like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna perform to the same degree that you need it to. Being body positive should not change because you're losing weight. I don't know why this person has to like so deeply ingrained themselves in body positivity as well. It's just like you do realize that you being talking about body positivity is hysterical because you don't even fit the bill to be a part of this organization at all. Like if you were fat and you went into body positivity and you were like, accept me, these people look at you like, I mean, Philip don't got legs and you're fat. And you're complaining that you can't walk upstairs. Philip can't walk upstairs. I mean, you can't either technically, but you know, like, what about like losing weight? You ever think about that? Like, you ever think about just for the one time that you just for just off the whim, you know, just lose weight real quick? You ever think about that? No, uh, Phil can't actually do anything about that. His legs are not there. Like he doesn't even have them. He can't grow them back either, which sucks. Or because you're suddenly fed. Body positivity is not about what you look like in the mirror. It is about civil rights Why? It's what uh, in what way like if somebody is disabled right if somebody doesn't have legs for instance they're not going to be hired for certain positions because they don't have legs right i don't think that's a, i think it's a fair statement to say i think it's I, obviously it's a hot take you know i don't think people with legs are going to be running marathons oh, oh crazy oh fucking lieutenant dan's coming running up no dude no obviously it's not going to happen so there needs to be a level of acceptance in your new body. Like if you if you're missing legs, if you come to the the ability of no longer having legs, you need to come to the realization that certain things are no longer going to be in your wheelhouse. In the same way that if you're obese, certain things are not going to be in your wheelhouse anymore. And if you don't want to lose weight, that's fine, but I think it's pretty fucking stupid to complain that you're not going to be hired for a position because your leg and the ability for hiring you is going to be like severely diminished in the amount of work that you're going to be able to do. It's about Fat liberation. Dude, body positivity being about fat liberation is insane. That is a crazy ass statement, dude. I want to go back so I can hear it. It is about, it's not about what you look like in the mirror. It is about civil rights. It's about fat liberation. Beautiful. If you don't believe in those things, you were never body positive. It doesn't even make sense. Your, your, your definition for, your definition for equality and your definition for civil rights doesn't reflect in reality like what you're asking for is to like reshape the way that we think about things in the universe in general because you you want things to be just be the way that you want them to be that's not how it works like you can't just will things into existence and then get mad at people because they don't also want to will th will these things into, into into existence like do i think that fat people should be able to work yeah do i think fat people shouldn't be held down by this the restrictions of 
the rules of thermodynamics and having extra weight on their body, making them harder to breathe and other things like that. Sure. Yeah. I think that th those people, like if you want to eat and you don't have consequences, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. But it just turns out that's kind of not how it works in our reality. And that when you weigh more, you have to deal with that extra more. It's about fat liberation. If you don't believe in those things, you were never body positive. You see, if I lost a ton of weight, I would never wake up one day and believe that, hey, those fat people over there, yeah, they don't deserve human rights. They I don't care about your virtue signaling. I'm sick of people thinking that they're, they're high in a way better than you because they feel more than you in a certain direction. I don't care. It doesn't make sense. It, I don't care. I don't care that you think that if you were thin, you would feel something different to me. Therefore, you're better than me or you think you're more enlightened than me. I think it's bullshit, to be honest. I'm sick of people going to, down this route of like, how dare you? And if I were this and I would do that and you weren't here and I didn't do this. Dude, shut up. Okay, first of all, that's not even a real point. Like, if you were thin, you would feel a different way. First of all, even if that was the case, does that dismiss my ability to critically think and, de and determine using my deductive abilities that what you're saying is bullshit? And that because that you say that you feel more than me, somehow that, like, lessens what I'm saying? No, that doesn't make sense at all. That'd be like a child going like, you know, I don't really think that, 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 that you know, Joe Biden should do the wars. I don't think that... You know, I just really don't think that we should really invade countries, and I also don't think that we should kill people. And then, then the Joe Biden going like, yeah, I mean, that's true. I don't think we should do that either, but, you know, we just kind of have to. Like, it's just what it is. Like, I know it would be, it'd be a great world if we just didn't have to do that, but we have to do that. I mean, obviously, the words that I just dispelled out of my mouth would be probably physically incapable for, capable for a man like Joe Biden. But I digress. The point I'm making is, just because you think something or you feel more than another person, I don't care. I don't care. Talk about the facts. Talk about what, t attack the point. Don't, don't attack how you're morally superior to me because you think that in a, a particular scenario, you would feel more. I lost a ton of weight. I would never wake up one day and believe that, hey, those fat people over there, yeah, they don't deserve human rights. They don't deserve civil rights. Fuck them. Yeah, nobody thinks that though. Like it's such a you, you have such a very you have such a skewed way of thinking as if all thin people are looking at fat people like you disgusting sloth. You disgusting piece of grated cheese on the floor. You unseasoned piece of chicken. Nobody's saying that. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. What we're saying is that you're literally making yourself incompatible with society and then blaming society for the incompatibility that you caused you're literally doing that over and over and over again and we're looking at that going you guys are unreasonable you guys have no you have you have no claim to this and yet we're still giving it to you and then you still have the audacity to complain that's what it's like i you would never hear that come from my mouth I don't because care. you say that as if like you you first of all okay it's fine to say that while you're in the position that you're in right now, which is an obese body. You're talking from a position of authority, right? You have never lost weight, okay? So that's right there. We'll just leave that right there in the first, like right in Paramount. Second of all, how do you know you won't feel different if you did lose weight? That's a question I feel like this person should be asking. I believe that all fat people are humans. Everybody thinks that. Everybody fucking thinks that. There's a reason why they're called fat people. If you said fat chimpanzee, or you said fat iguana, or you said fat, uh, what are those really cool monkeys that walk around with their arms like this? I just seen a video of one in a suit. Those dudes, right? The ones that look like Johnny Depp. Nobody is not thinking that you're a human. The issue is that you guys, are, you guys are making yourself so incredibly privileged in a position of privilege while asking for more privilege. And the fact that so many fat influencers who are losing weight, which there's nothing wrong with, and going on GLP-1s and semaglutides like Ozempic and Wegovi and, and, you know, Saxenda and all of those. The fact that they're going on those medications and losing the weight and getting smaller or becoming thin and then taking away my body autonomy and the body autonomy of fat people by saying things like, oh, now that I'm smaller, I feel so much better and I truly believe that health does not exist at every size. And it doesn't, and that's a factual statement. Health at every size is not true just from the statement alone, right? You cannot be healthy at 350. You cannot be healthy at 450. You can't be healthy when you're obese. So <laughs> if you are looking at people that are very, very obese and they chose to lose weight and now they are no longer fat anymore and they're coming to the conclusion that you oh i was fat 
for so long of my life. I was fat for so many years. And now that I am no longer fat, I've come to the, uh, my deductive abilities have told me that being fat was actually a detriment to my life and health. And you're determining those people to be like, what? Like they're just wrong or they're not morally correct because they think that fat people shouldn't be fat anymore because they've come to this newfound belief. They've, they've, they've seen the other, they, they've seen the grass on the other side and they're realizing the grass that you had wasn't even grass at all. It was like lava and you were just slowly sinking in and eventually it will completely cover you, right? It's like quicksand, right? Except it's very slow. And every time you move and every time you say, I'm fat is beautiful, fat is great, fat, fat acceptance, fat acceptance, you seep lower and lower and lower. All it takes is like somebody put a little br a little branch and pull you out. And these people got pulled out and now they're over here on the sweet side and they're going, yo, you were right the whole time. It is terrible. I know, it is, it always has been. And that body positivity is killing fat people. Really? My, my bar, Pure bar instructor is a plus size woman. I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't care about your anecdotal evidence. Like, if you're going to sit there and go, oh, so you think being fat is killing fat people? Well, like, let me tell you about this anecdotal evidence that I have about a fat person that feels amazing. I don't care. I don't care. What does that have to do with anything? I don't care. That's like me going, well, listen, I know that you said that gay people love sucking dick, but guess what? I know a gay dude and he eats vagina sometimes and he does it recreationally and he opens his mouth and he goes, um, 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 um. he eats it all up. It's great. He says it's delicioso in his mouth. He loves it, but he's gay, but he's gay. Would you then go, huh? You know what, David? You're right. You know, this newfound, this newfound information that you just gave me is really opening my eyes to the truth about homosexuality. I guess. If you are homosexual, you don't actually need to indulge in the male anatomy. You don't need to suckle and suck a tash on another man. You don't need to do that. You can silly vagina. No, you can't. No, you can't. You have to slosh dick. That's what it is, all right? So in this particular scenario about your trainer, whoever this is, I don't care. I don't care if they're fat and they're healthy or whatever you determine them to be because they're probably not and you have no idea what even health is because you've been trapped in this body for so long that you have a very skewed idea. It's like living in a room with a smoke detector for like years at a time that's just continuously beeping and you just get used to it. That's what it's like for you. Really? My my bar, pure bar instructor is a plus size woman, a former Ar US Army drill sergeant so. who can outwork women in my pure bar class who are active duty. Do you think that she doesn't feel comfortable in her body? Yes, I do think that. I think 100% she's dealing with problems. How plus size is she? Is That's the question I want to know. How big is she? Is she like 20, 30 pounds over? All right, that's probably not a big deal probably. If you're a big woman and you're a muscle mommy, yeah, yeah, that's probably I. If she's obese, 100%. I don't care if she can outwork. What do you mean by outwork? What's her cardiovascular strength look like? Are you telling me that woman can run faster and longer than me? Get the fuck out of here, bro. If you're, listen, if you're telling me that somebody who is carrying around double or even triple the amount of weight that they should be carrying around is going to outrun somebody that has had the same training but is like significantly lighter at the weight that they should be, that's bullshit. That doesn't even make sense. How does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. You're going to burn way more. You're going to burn out way faster because your joints, your body, all that shit is under more stress compared to the person that doesn't have to deal with that stuff. She is very much comfortable in her body. Great. I'm glad. I'm so glad that you have a person that you know that is overweight or obese that is very comfortable in their body. That's awesome. That's so great. I'm so happy to hear that. Matter of fact, all of the fat women I know in my life are incredibly active. That's great. Who can run circles around thin people? Do you think that they're not healthy at this? Yes, I do think that. I think they're unhealthy. If they're overweight or obese, yeah, they're not healthy. That's a factual statement. I don't know what the fuck even this point is. Somebody that's thin and sedentary, right, usually is going to be still healthier compared to somebody that's fat and obese. Be even if they like, I don't know, what are you even doing to make yourself active? What are you opening bottles of like prime? Like what? what, do you, what is your activity level? Like opening cans of soda, like competitive unwrapping Subway sandwiches. What is your, what do you mean by active? Please define what that means. Their size? Competitive Uber Eats delivery order. I can order Uber Eats in 21 seconds on my phone. Watch me, depending on the internet connection, obviously. And even if they're not healthy, do you think that unhealthy people, do you, a person who has asthma is not healthy. A person who has cancer is not healthy. Do you think people don't deserve rights as humans they're not humans nobody's saying that what are you talking about why who are you arguing with right now nobody's saying that okay obviously 
I grew up with asthma. I had asthma, and I no longer have asthma, or maybe I still do have asthma. I don't think that you could just get away from it, but I have no respiratory issues. Like, I'm pretty fine when it comes to my respiratory issues right now, but when I was a child, I did have asthma because I grew up in a fucking project, and like, I don't know, maybe I was sucking on like a lead paint or something like that. Everybody smoked at the time. It was a normal thing. I don't think it's a good thing, and obviously, I would never recommend anybody have asthma. It's not, it's not a beneficial side effect of being, a, it's not a good passive ability, I feel like, but anyway... Just because you have asthma or you have cancer doesn't mean you can't get better. You can't, like, alleviate some of those symptoms. You can't get rid of some of this stuff in general, like, with cancer. Is that not a reason to seek out help? Is that, a, is that not a reason to better yourself? Like, what is even this argument point? I'm not saying that people that are unhealthy are less human. What I'm saying is that if you're unhealthy and there's something you can do about it, then you should. That should be like the motto for everybody. If you want to change and you can, you should. That should be your objective. You, you, you should feel obligated, especially if you have like these particular types of illnesses and things such and so forth. Because otherwise, what the fuck are you complaining about, right? If it's something you cannot change, fine. It's something you can't change. I'll give you that, right? If you're a chronic, if it's a chronic illness or whatever it may be, right, I get it. But in scenarios where you're obese or I guess if you have cancer, why wouldn't you go and look for places to alleviate those things, right? I don't know. It just seems like a bullshit talking point. This person is just sitting here trying to come up with reasons why to stay fat. And if you want to be fat, that's fine. Just stay fat. That's okay. But you're coming up with like really, really bullshit stories right now. You're fighting ghosts. Like you're fighting your own enemy. And the enemy is you. You're just coming up with scenarios and ways to try to validify you being fat, which is fine. Be fat. But you're coming up with bullshit stories to try to justify it. If they are not healthy... Do you hear? Do you psychologically? Huh. I think those shots are getting to y'all. Psychologically, you're not all there, honey. You were never body positive. You're, you're, you, how you gonna sit there and try to tell me that I'm my, my psychological? I have a, a some kind of illness or something like that. Like I'm not thinking about this correctly. You literally, you your own points don't even make sense. You're literally coming up with your own talking points to argue against because nobody else is arguing these points. You're th that's what you're doing right now. And I'm over here trying to debunk your bullshit claims. Like I'm fighting a battle that you're fighting with yourself. And I'm and somehow I'm winning. And you're losing. How are you losing your own argument? This doesn't even make any sense. Can you imagine? That'd be like somebody playing checkers. Okay? That'd be like somebody playing checkers or connect four with themselves. And they're dropping. You're red and the other side of you is, is yellow. And you're dropping them in. And you're the red one. And the other side of it is yellow. And you lose. You still lose. Like you agree. Uh, uh, drop this one in. You run over to the other side. Drop this one in. Oh, wow. I can't believe I lost. You suck. You're coming up with your own reasons to like still. And you still lose. You wanted to be thin. And that's fine. And you want to be fat. And that's fine. But just don't sit there and try to make it seem like there's no problems with it. But you cannot shit on all of the rest of fat I people. I mean, I can do whatever I want. I think that's kind of crazy to say that I can and cannot do something. Like, first of all, don't tell me what I can, can and cannot do. I'm a big man. By taking away their humanity. Nobody's doing that. That's all I gotta say. Who are you talking to right now? What, are you talking like some Middle Eastern country right now? Who, who, who are you fighting against? Please, tell us who, who, when you said that last quote, taking away their humanity, take away their rights, their human rights. Who, who are you talking about? Hey, Y'all is crazy. What's, this was my thing is, so who's going to represent the fat women if nobody's fat mm -hmm. and the proud fuck? to be fat? Absolutely. Like, what's going to happen to this movement? What's going to happen to the little girls that are coming up? They'll probably realize that not being, being fat is a, a fucking, it's probably a bad thing. What even is this talking point? Like, what do you, what, what kind of superhero are you where you're trying to justify being fat? What? What are you saying, man? Oh. Who's going to be there to step up for fat people? Nobody, because hopefully fat people are not, you know, they've lost weight to no longer be fat. And they're not dealing with the problems of being fat. The fuck? Isn't that the whole objective? What the hell are you talking about? What's going to happen to this movement? What's going to happen to the little girls that are coming up that we fought so hard to have that representation for the when they're looking about? around and everybody has got a BBL and Ugh. everybody's skinny. There's no one out here representing fat. And I just... Hi, I'm fat and I'm just going to be fat because mm -hmm. I love, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just absolutely. couldn't see myself. Yeah. Who is in this podcast, dude? Why is there never any pushback to these bullshit ass talking points? If somebody was like, oh yeah, we need representation and we shouldn't advocate for people to lose weight because where's the representation going to go? And we need more of it. And hi, I'm fat and I'm okay with being fat. Why isn't anybody in the podcast going like, yo, hold up now. Hold up. You just kind of said something a little crazy and uh, <coughs> 
none of that made sense. And uh, what do you mean, like, the girls sticking up with the girls that are fat? Um, You don't want people to be healthier? Like, is that not your... You don't care about that? Not at all? Like, it's fine if you don't want to do that. But, like, what do you mean for other people? Like, that's kind of an issue. Like, is that not... Is, you know what I'm talking about that? All right. That's what I would be saying. I don't know why people don't push back. It's some crazy-ass points. Anybody, and, I mean, I'm just really passionate about being who i am Absolutely. and you don't have to be fat though like it's fine that you accepted being big but you didn't have to be big why couldn't you accept something else like why couldn't you accept being the girl with the lashes or being the girl with the acrylics or being the girl that like i don't know that can re recreationally queef i don't know there's like plenty of other things that i feel like you should have done besides being the fat girl like what why would you ever choose that title that's like the bottom of the barrel that's like the man, whatever bro whatever dude you know, representing that. My fupa might be hanging low, but my face card never declined, bitch. Damn. And that's why y'all will always be pressed. Fat, yes, but ugly could never. Are you dumb? I'm so that's, what a point. What a point. Face card never declined is an interesting statement, dude. Woo! Good for you. Good for you. Confidence. Hanging low, but my face card never declined. You acknowledge the fupa though right that's beautiful like yeah i know i got that fupa in my shit i can't see i can't even see my genitals and i haven't seen them in years so what my face cord on fleek on fleek bitch and that's why y'all will always be pressed why do you sound like you've been smoking since you were like five what is that what is yeah my face cord on fleek you can't you know i'm a real bitch yeah you already know yeah fuck you Bitch. Fat, yes, but ugly could never. Are you dumb? I'm still trying to figure out how you go from promoting self acceptance, body positivity, fat activism to creating content that trolls fat people. By losing weight and realizing that you was wrong the whole entire time, right? That's what it's like, man. You knew you didn't know something was wrong until you knew something was wrong. And now that you know that it's wrong, you realize it's wrong and you want to bestow upon everybody else who thinks it's right. That they're wrong. And sometimes you want to be a little fun when you do it. I'm trying to find the connection on how that happened. Now, I truly believe that if you want to be an Ozempic with Govi or whatever it is that you want to be on, you should. And sorry, my light died, so I had to put on the big one. Um, like I was saying, I do believe that if you want to be on with Govi or Ozempic, you should be on it. It's your right. It's your body. Period. I think a lot of the reason why you're seeing a lot of fat content creators um, come up and say hey, I don't want to be fat anymore, or I hate being fat, and I'm going to do everything that I can to be away from that community. Because they realized that they were wrong, and now that they've started to lose weight, they're starting to realize that they were wrong. Usually, you don't have a problem until you have a problem, right? A lot of people don't even know that they have problems. Like, kind of like you see that check engine light, and you go, I wonder what that means. Until, you, it, until it actually does something, you don't know that it's a problem. You understand? It's like, that's what your body is. It's a constant check engine light. And you just kind of go, but I'm not really dealing with those problems. But the funny thing is, you probably are dealing with those problems. You're just probably not seeing them from day to day to day to day. Like, I'll give you a good example, right? If you saw me day to day to day to day, you wouldn't see much difference from me from day to day to day. But if you saw me from year to year, you would see big differences because you're only seeing me once every year every year or two right so when you live in your own body right day to day to day you're not seeing those little subtle changes that are making differences that are shaping the way that you live your life every single day but once something big happens like seeing somebody for the first time after a year then you realize holy shit this is an issue you understand like a lot of problems i see for these fat people are subtle changes with their bodies right they're not realizing that when they get up out of bed they're having a hard time they just kind of realize from day to day that it's just like oh it might be harder for them but they're not registering it because of subtle changes but eventually when something big does happen like a heart attack or you go to the doctor, and the doctor's like, whoa, you're pre-diabetic. You're like two steps away from being diabetic. You can literally drop that on this table at any point in time. You don't realize until you realize. And I, I, it's really terrible when I see fat people not being proactive about their lives because we live in an era right now where it's like the best time to be alive. We have so many great things nowadays, right? Sex dolls, anal beads, dude, lubricants that taste like Big Macs. It's crazy. And you want to throw that all away for some extra double cheeseburgers, dude, or some glazed donuts? It's not worth it. It's not worth it, dude. That's all I got to say.
is because a lot of you guys didn't really understand what actual body positivity was. You don't know what body positivity is either. You and that other girl have absolutely no idea what that is. Take you and your double chin and go somewhere else. And what true fat activism is. I think this comes from the very basic superficial idea that you're supposed to love your body no matter how big you are, no matter how small you are, when in reality we were all fighting for... Um, equality in body sizes, whether it was in the fashion industry, whether it was in doctor offices, we all wanted to have the same care. Love yourself. Love yourself now. Love yourself now. Let me know if you know where that, that quote is from. Leave it down below if you know where that's from. It's fine to acknowledge that your body is a beautiful platform of joy and affection and amazingness. That does not, should not be an excuse to not do anything about it. Because a lot of people see contempt where they should see growth or where they should see something that they can improve. If you look at your body and you go, I love my body. It's amazing. It is what it is. A lot of people just accept it the way it is and never change because they don't need to. Their body's perfect. Their body's beautiful. Their body's everything. That's fine. Acknowledge the things, but still have a critical eye. Why don't you have big biceps? Go to the gym and work them out. Why do you have this big ass stomach standing in front of you and you can't see your dick anymore? Lose some weight. You want to see your meat, don't you? I don't know why so many dudes don't think it's a big, bro. If you look down and you don't see solid meat, you you have an issue, okay? That's a big problem. Your belly shouldn't be protruding out farther than your meat. That's all I got to say, all right? That's an issue. And the same thing could be said for women. If your vagina, okay, if your belly button is deeper than the vaginal canal, that is an issue. That's not a good thing. I might as well just be double slipping into the belly button at that point. I mean, there's really no difference on there. I probably feel a little bit better too. Grease it up a little bit. I don't know. But it's like so many red flags these people have nowadays. And none of them acknowledge it as red flags. They just continuously go through their lives. It's like, oh, yeah, I guess, you know, I fell down. And it took me 45 minutes to get up off the floor. And people looked at me and they were like, ah, look at that fat bitch on the floor. That's an issue. That's not a good thing. I remember working. Okay. There was this woman I used to work with. Her name was Betty. I know it's crazy, right? She had to have weighed. She was short. So I'm not going to like, I'm being really, really conservative on this. I think she probably was over 300 pounds. She was probably maybe around 400 pounds. She was a big woman, a big woman. And I remember one day I had come into work. Okay. And I usually come into work 30 minutes early so I can get a little bit of some extra on the side, you know, sit down in the break room, adjust myself, eat some graham crackers, drink coffee. But I remember I came in and there were paramedics there. And I walked up to this girl that I worked with. I said, what happened? And she said, Betty fell down. And I said, oh, that really? Betty fell down? And she said, yep, Betty fell down. I was like, oh, um, why? She's still on the floor? And they were like, yeah, she's still on the floor. And I was like, well, what are, you, what are they doing? They're struggling to pick her up. They couldn't pick this woman up because she weighed so much. There were five or six big men, paramedics, black guys and all, trying to pick her up. Couldn't pick her up. And I made a joke. And I said, Bro, there's a forklift in the back. Go get the fucking forklift. You put a pallet under her. Roll her over. Put a pallet under her. Lift her up. Throw her in the back of the put her put her in the back of the van, right? And she was like, David, oh my god. And I was like, come on, there. That's come on. That's a fucking joke. Woman's on the fucking floor. What do you want from me? I right? she did it to her fucking self. All right. Like I'm not here to make fun of people for like misfortunes, but like, come on, just take a fucking break. But this woman had to have. They eventually did get her up. They had to put like a blanket underneath there and lift up. It was like a special blanket with like latches. I don't know. It was weird. But they did eventually put her on the platform. But really think about this, right? This woman couldn't have been older than 40. She could not get up from herself. Like as soon as she fell down, it was over. If people there, if there weren't seven, eight, nine big men that were paramedics, that were half of them black, dude, I guarantee you that's where she would have lived. They would have just gave up. They were like, yeah, well, you know. That's, this is it. This is where you live now. I mean, you probably have to roll yourself under the clothing rack and maybe like build a tent because that's the, that was it for her. Um, and it sucks to say that. But if you're fat, that's what it is. And you might be thinking you're not having that problem right now. But you know how many fat people I've seen that couldn't get up off the floor? And if they could get up the floor, it was, it was going to take them a very long time or it was going to be very, very uh, straining for them to do so. That is not a good thing. You should have the ability to get up off the floor if you can. If you're disabled, obviously you can. But you know what I'm saying. Like, if you have the ability to, you should. Fat people know that when you go into an office, no matter what the ailment, no matter what the condition you may be talking about, your weight is always the main reason that you are spoken to or the main problem that needs to be fixed. No matter what are you talking about? You go into an office and people are talking about you being fat? What are you, what? What, what offices are you going into, first of all, where people are going, oh my God, look at her fat <laughs> no who's doing that what, what what is the scenario you're talking about what you say 
But being a content creator that has created content. Oh, oh, she's mean a doctor's office. She means a doctor's office. Okay, I was thinking about like her working in like a fucking, you know, like a, a, a an actual office, and like she went walks into break room, people were like, oh my god. Like that's what I thought, but doctors are supposed to talk about you being fat. I mean, that's an that's obviously that I don't know why this is such a crazy idea. Doctors are supposed to solve problems. Being fat is a problem. And specifically, um, for fat people, and then turn the the flip because you feel like this community was so toxic um, is one thing. Like for you to think that the community is toxic is fine. Like. No community is perfect, obviously. And I think that now creating content that trolls fat people, whether you see it as that or not, is this cara. I don't even know how to what? say it, how to explain it, but it's just like you have no shame. You have no shame being in an organization that condones people being overweight unhealthy and lacking any type of responsibility at all blaming all your problems on everybody else and then when you see somebody actually taking accountability for themselves and bestowing upon people the information of how to better themselves you determine them to be trolls or people that are bad or whatever like that's disgusting that is disgusting yeah you see how easy it was for me to flip that for you I repeat, no one cares the reasons of what you do with what with your body. You obviously care. You're literally making an entire video about it. We, when we were talking about activism, body neutrality, whether- Everybody wants to be an activist nowadays, dude. Why? Like, how many, how, why is it every time you talk to somebody, they have to be an activist for something? We've gotten to the point where we have people being activists for being fat. What the fuck, dude? How did we get there? Why, out of all things, are you being an activist for being fat? You're just bored. You're just fucking bored, dude. I don't know. Go get a gym membership and play Pokemon Go. What else is there? Like, you guys are so bored that you're literally starting up organizations to be activists for being fat. That is the most sad shit I've heard in a long time. That's not a flex. That's just saddening. Be body positivity or fat activism. What we were all trying to do is create a sense of equality when it came to laws, when it came to the options that we've received in the fashion industry. What the fuck? Those are two like opposite sides of the spectrum, dude. The law and the fashion industry. Oh, wow. Those things are directly connected, obviously. The law one almost never makes sense to me because you guys get what you get. I don't know what to tell you. Like if you, if you lack the ability to do physical work, then it's obvious that it's going to be detrimental to you for a position that requires you to do physical work. Um, clothing items? I mean, I don't know. What do you mean by that? Like, if you're fat, I think you have more problems than finding clothes. I think you guys should be clothed, obviously. You should, 100%, be clothed. But that doesn't mean that you guys should be entitled to get clothes. Like, here's the thing. When you're very fat, this is not something as simple as being an X, like an XL or an XXL or whatever. You guys are literally advocating for clothes that are like X, 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 X. Like, you want like 19X or 20X clothes. That is ridiculous. How many, what percentage of people do you think are going to buy those clothes? And then what percentage of those people are going to consistently buy those clothes? Not many people, not many people. Most of those people can't even get out of bed, let alone buy clothes. Like, what are you thinking? That's just obvious. And then also, you guys are not created the same way. If you're bleg, your body is not gonna be the same as another person that's also bleg because you guys are not, your, your bodies are oriented in different ways. So if somebody's 250 pounds and another person's 250 pounds, they may hold their weight in a different area compared to you. So if they put on a shirt and it fits you okay, it's not gonna fit them okay because that's, that's not how their body is portioned. Um, and proper care for fat people. What do you mean by proper care? Like if a doctor is telling you you need to lose weight in order to get a surgery and you determine that to not be proper care, you're dumb. I don't know what else to tell you than that. Like if a doctor is telling you that, a professional is telling you that, okay. But for you or for those people that you see that are uh, now going against fat people, it was all about being super superficially okay with yourself. And I'm not blaming them. Um, I'm not blaming anyone. I think it's the lack of knowledge. And as a fat person, I do recommend that you do all the research that you can on what it is to be a fat person, aside from your own personal experience, the politics behind it. What 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 research have you done on being what do you, what what even is the research that you would do on fat people that isn't about the health complications, the risks, and the problems? Like, what are you what are you doing? Like, are you really like? Did you go like okay? When you go on the Wikipedia for fatness, okay, 
Is that what you're talking about? Because I guarantee if you do that, you're going to find a whole bunch of red flags there. Is that not what you're talking about? What research are you doing about being fat? Can you please tell me what the fuck you're talking about? Because most people that go, oh, I'm going to research something, which which when I, whenever, I, whenever I'm researching something, you know what I do? I just pull up the Wikipedia on whatever it is, and I just have it read out to me because I can't be bothered to read. It takes me a long time to read. Um, but it's much better if I can have somebody read it to me um, and I can absorb that information a lot faster. This person, I don't know what they mean by that. Like, what, what information are you researching? It can be very helpful. And a lot of the women that I see are white women. And to me, I'm already dude. If you, okay, I'm going to give her, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait, but it's already coming off a little bit weird. The fact that you're, you're going to bring up white women, but go ahead. Very helpful. And a lot of the women that I see are white women. And to me, it just, are you not white? What are you like? What, <laughs> what are you like some kind of Islander? What your 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 melanin capacity? Okay, let me stop. Like maybe my melanin capacity. Okay, I'm 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 white, right? I'm fucking white. I'll give you that. But she's like a little bit darker than me, right? Like she's slightly darker than me. She got a little bit. Dude, can I be? Can we be honest for a second, dude? Is she a people of color? Am I a people of color? Can I be a people of color? Dude, I could be dark in the summertime. I go outside and I, I tan up a little bit. I can have a little bit of melanin. Whatever. Anyway. A lot of the women that I see are white women, and to me, it just it's so obvious the privilege um <laughs> shut that the fuck up dude shut the fuck up i'm sick of this shit i'm sick of this like why are we having privilege talks based off of how white you are dude how oppressed are you what are you like fucking getting pulled over by the cop because you ran a red life red light and you're screaming discrimination like what are you talking about right now get the fuck out of this bracket of ever looking at everything as like a, oh this is discrimination the privilege this person exudes like what fuck are you talking about man this person is on some crazy level of uh oppression right now dude like where'd you get your dude you're 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 like on that college shit like you have these like microaggressions and whatever the fuck you want to say and you're bringing that in real world and people are going what the fuck are you talking about what no, people in the real world have no fucking idea what that even means right so when you say like oh white women have privilege people look at you like bro what are you fucking talking about then i'm like two hundred thousand dollars in debt like, I haven't brushed my teeth in five days. I don't, like, I, I've only eaten Chef Boyardee eight times. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? They're like, I have, you know, what do you mean privilege? Like, most people are not looking at it like that. It just, it's so obvious the privilege um, that you carry that you can make it okay to flip a button one day and just be like, this is it. Now I hate being fat and I hate everyone that's fat. What the fuck are you talking about? But there's no flipping the switch. What does that have to do with being a white woman? What is that even happen? What are you talking about? Can you can you please, if you're gonna bring up privilege talk, why the fuck are you bringing up somebody losing weight? Is it a, a what what does losing weight? What does that have to do with being a white woman? Why would you bring up being a white woman in the correlation of privilege when it comes to losing weight? Do black women have an inability to lose weight? Do Asian men have an inability to lose weight? Do why would you bring that up? What is why? What does that have to do with anything? Okay. And just be like, this is it. Now I hate being fat and I hate everyone that's fat. True. And you may not be saying that out loud, but your actions, your comments, <laughs> and the like comments that you do are saying it for you. That's crazy. This person, this person is living in some kind of weird like Narnia realm and they think that everything is oppression dude it's like you yo man dude you you're just like me okay and if you want to be fat you could be fat just don't blame it on white women I don't know why you would I don't know what the fuck you're talking about what this even has to do with white women is it kind of like uh, I have no idea why you would bring that up this, this is such a bullshit talking point I did another video on this person and this person this has to be the oppression olympics dude and she's living in new york which is like one of the most fucking high places to live in terms of rent and food and all this other stuff and she's talking about privileges like what do you talk you're living in one of the most whatever dude go on go on go and off. before i go what i was just trying to say but i'm not sure if i did say it correctly please don't tag anyone who you think this video is about i originally was gonna stitch someone who created content recently trolling fat people and them being a fat person um, but then I decided that I don't want to create negativity, but start a good conversation. You're not starting any good conversation. Everything that you said has been a contradiction. You can't even support your own claim with real evidence. And anytime that you do, you always say racism or white women bad or don't make fun of fat people because that's not a quality or I should be able to get jobs because I'm fat even though I can't do the job. 
What the fuck are you talking about? None of this makes sense. And talk about why is it that even if for you personally, you need to lose weight for whatever reason it is, because I, again, don't care. Is that the <laughs> what the fuck? What? Okay. If you, yeah. They really think about why you want to lose weight and why, why, you know, what's the reason why you lose weight? Because I don't care. Like, I don't fucking give a fuck, to be honest, dude. I never really cared, so... ...need to lose weight for whatever reason it is. Because I, again, don't care. That's something that is with you and your doctor and no one else. But why do you have to attack a community that you made so much money off of and created a platform of? What is this talking point, dude? This person is living in a different fucking world, dude. How are you gonna sit there and say, watch what you say online, it could hurt somebody? What are you doing right now? Huh? What are you doing right now? You might be hurting a whole bunch of somebody's right now. You hurting me a little bit right now. Ah, oh, my knee hurts a little bit because the way you said that. Ah, ah, no, my knee. Ow. You hurt me. You hurt me. You see how easy it is? It doesn't make sense. Stop. Stop trying to sit there and say that if you say something online, okay, in these particular scenarios, like you made a comment and it hurt people. Don't do that. You're doing it too. You're doing it too. You're literally doing it too. And it might be worse because you're making a whole video about it and none of the points even make sense. Of, but just just keep that in mind yeah. and i hope that those people who are still trying to find some peas um, pizza pizza that's what they looking for that those people who are still trying to find some peas um within their issues with body that you get the proper care that you need whether it's really you think that people that are having issues with their body should seek out proper care that's interesting. Oh, that's real interesting. Oh, huh. I, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm not saying anything, actually. I'm just saying that it might be a little bit weird that you're saying that, given the circumstance that we're talking about. It's the therapist, doctor. Um, your mouth. Even... Your mouth, maybe. You gotta talk to your mouth a little bit like, listen, dude, we gotta chill back. We've been doing a little bit too much for too long. I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. We've been doing less talking and more. <laughs> We need to chill back on that last one. That's what we need to do. Chill back on that. We could talk a little bit I'm more. Just though. starting talking to a friend. Um, I hope that you, you know, keep yourself in a sane, safe place. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. Yes, I wish her the best too, dude. Even though none of the points that she made made any sense at all. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things help help me grow in the algorithm. So if you could do that stuff for me, I'd appreciate you tremendously. I want to thank everybody that's a member. Thank you so much. You're beautiful. I want to thank everybody that's subscribed. Thank you so much. You are also beautiful. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in a heart. Heart or less than three. Less than three is like the, you know, the less than sign. And then three. It's a heart. Less than three. You can type it without being, you know, without like the emoji. You just do the less than three. I love less than three. I less than three you. I less than three you, you beautiful specimen of humanity. You're amazing. You're spectacular. You smell so good. I love the way you consumed that cough drop the other day because you're being responsible. And I really care about those socks that you were wearing and how they matched. Oh, man, you look so good today. When I was like watching you walk down the street, and you didn't see me because I was hiding in that bush that you didn't see. And then I was like, oh, man, wow, she looks, that person looks so good. <sighs> I thought you looked so great. Yeah. Ah. Don't worry, though. Uh, I would never do that. I would never. I mean, it's not my fault. I mean, you look really good, so I have to look upon you. Anyway, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord, my second channel where I upload stream highlights. You can go ahead and join any of those platforms. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.